Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. We just recently set up a really cool tank and we couldn't wait to talk about it. This is the Red Sea Reefer 350 and we filled it with anemones and black saddleback clownfish. A lot of people don't appreciate the idea of committing to the look of a tank that you have. Like a lot of people will do, I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but there's just something visually stunning about we're just going to commit to one type of anemone and one type of clownfish. <laughs> I think it works really well with this tank. Now it helped that we happen to have this explosion <laughs> of um, watermelon bubble tip and anemone show up. So that really does help with the effect. But the black saddleback clownfish is, I think were a really cool choice for this tank. Kind of a underrated clownfish. Everybody goes immediately towards Ocellara Serpicula or one of the fancy versions of those. The saddleback is a natural, that's how they look in the wild. And they tend to be a better choice if you're looking at doing a group of them. So we've got, I think, eight of them in this tank. And the hope is, and it seems to be working, they're going to kind of grow up as a little family group. They'll have the female, as with all clownfish, will be the largest. The, there'll be a dominant male, will be the second largest of the other ones, and then the drones. And hopefully they'll get along really well. Yeah. I think a lot of people, like, they think clownfish and they think Nemo. Right. And there's 30 plus species and counting. Yes. This is one of those options. And they're not all orange. <laughs> yeah. So the Red Sea Reefer 350, um, I think was a gorgeous choice for this system. This is a beautiful rimless tank. The top has got this really nice bevel on the glass. Um, it's amazingly quiet. Like, I can kind of hear a trickle, but the way the overflow was set up, it is super quiet. I can hear that tank over there more than this. It's always hard to tell what we're, you know, there's, <laughs> the sound of flowing water is pretty common in the gallery here, right? Um, so the Red Sea Reefer comes with uh, the tank, the top-off system. It's a really nice little top-off system. It's on a roller. It's just a gravity-fed top-off system with a float valve. So you only have to get into here. To get into the filter chambers, you can just slide the top off out of the way for your mechanical filtration. We added the eShop's X1, Axiom 120 protein skimmer. Seems to do a great job. It's not a huge bio load for this tank, so seems to do a great job for it. Yeah, I'm actually really pleased with the results of it. It was kind of nice because I had someone ask me about this system earlier, and uh, Mandy has been fine tuning it. It had that perfect, like, protein skimmer coffee water oh, that yeah. you want Perfect. to be like, yeah, you want it to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we added the uh, Aqua Illumination Hydra 32 HD lights that I think just give it an amazing color. But this system just, it just works. If you don't want to have to spend a whole lot of time designing a system, like which sump should I get? What tank should I get? What stand should I get? The Red Sea Reefer 350 is a, it's a great system for that. 73 gallons. Uh, 93 if you include the sump. Okay. 74 I think is the actual tank volume. And then, uh, but I want to go back to, you talked about the stand. I don't yes. want to undersell, like, I don't know. I just really like this. It's really hard to find good looking stands. And the one detail on this system that I didn't know, expect when we went in is that the front of the tank is flush with the front of the stand. And it just makes right. it look so, like, so, I don't know how to describe it. It's just got a quality to it that it just looks sleek. It's a very, very clean look. It looks really good here. Um, we're really happy with it so far. We do have one left in stock. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. Um, but yeah, Red TV for 350, aqua illumination lighting. Axiom protein skimmer, um, a bunch of clownfish, a bunch of live rock, and a bunch of anemones, and I think it's a great look. Well, hopefully you think <laughs> it's a great look too. Please follow us on all that stuff you guys follow things on, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep getting these kinds of updates. Um, if you have tanks that have a very specific look if that you're leaning into, maybe yeah. it's not all anemones and clownfish, maybe it's green star polyp or whatever. I'd like to hear about that and what made you make that choice. It's kind of a uncharted waters to aquascape saltwater. 
Yeah, we put all these different corals in and they look beautiful together, but what if you just focus on one thing? Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to focus on having lots of fun and keeping those hands wet. Thanks for watching.